Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the most useful things you do in editing a picture is to change the light and dark within the picture. And uh, one of the ways of doing that is rather than using like an overall control like contrast and brightness is to paint in that effect so you're controlling it in parts of the picture itself. The way you can do this is with is down here you've got a dodge brush. This comes from the days of darkroom stuff, so it's a weird name, but dodge means make it lighter. So I can click on that and I could sort of paint out down here and make a sort of a lighter area like here. And I can right click on that and hit on burn. And the way I remember this is burning is like makes things darker because it's a bit of paper getting burnt goes black. But there I can sort of paint darker areas in here. But the problem with this is, first of all, it's, it's once you've done it, you're painting on the picture, so it's destructive, which means you can't undo it later, or can't mess around with it. Um, also, you get some effects where it starts to do it a little bit, you know, so this is getting a bit of a shine here. And say if I put in there, it's, the background there is getting rather too bright, but I've got no control really over that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwind the history on this and do another way using layers. And what I'll do is I'll go to the adjustments here and go to brightness and contrast. There's lots of different ways you can do this, by the way, but this is just one. And I'm going to turn this right up. So it's there's plenty of brightness there. And I'll close that down so that's still there. I'm going to tap by that and turn, um, turn that dodge and call that lightening. Not lightning, lightening. And then I'm going to put another one in above that. I'm going to make this darker. I'm going to turn the brightness down here. And I can actually make this a bit darker again by turning the contrast up. So we can turn that up there and then I'll stop that. But now what I want to do is because I want to be able to paint this in, which means I'm going to paint on the mask on this. Here. So just painting on here. But I want to invert those. So I just go to layer and invert and that makes the mask go from white means show everything to black, which means show nothing. Same with the lightning one here. So I'll do layer and invert that. And let's call the top one, name that one. So that one, burn and darkening. Type it right. Now then, all I do now is I'm going to paint on this here. And if I paint white on it, then that's going to bring in that effect of darkening or enlightening. And if I could paint on black, because it's initially black already, it's going to sort of take that effect away. So for this, I'm rather than the dodge and burn ones, I'm going to need a paintbrush. And I can look at the opacity and hardness up here. Usually I'll keep hardness zero because it, you want a soft thing. You don't want it to be too apparent. The size of the brush. A larger brush will have a very soft edge. Sometimes you want it to be smaller as well. And opacity, often you want to keep it low and paint in strokes, so gradually increasing it. But to change that, remember, if I type the number 1 on the keyboard, it goes to 10, 2 for 20, 3 and so on, up to naught, which is 100%. So if I paint in 100%, I'm painting in darkness, but that's way too much there. So I'm going to undo that. So if I take one and watch the, the opacity goes to 10%, now when I paint this in, I'm just each stroke there is making it a little bit darker. If I'm a bit impatient, I can say I'll do two for 20% and make this a bit darker again. But it gives you a lot more control over where you're painting. And then I might say go to the lightning one here and I'll make that lighter down the middle. I'll make the left square bracket to make the it brighter again and do another little line down there. That's a little bit too strong edges, isn't it? So I'll undo that and I'll type one to make that 10% and then this down the middle, there you go, it's a bit 
softer edge and down here as well and then I'm going to open this up again here and give a dab on there, a couple of dabs to make that brighter. Make the tops of the trees bright here with several strokes there. And maybe I can do a few, just a little bit of lightning along the tops of those there. And the darkening, I'll make that a little bit darker down here again. And so on. So you can play with it and so on. So I've got a light line coming up here to lighten up the people there with that lightning. And if I want to look at that any time, so I want to look at the mask of that where I've been painting, alt click on that, I can see here where it is. Not all show shows me I could make that lighter. So if I click back on the, the original to bring it back and say no, I can make that lighter again. So if I go to here and do a right square bracket to make the brush bigger and turn that 10% opacity let's make that 60% let's be bold and you can see it gives you a preview of this maybe 70% click on that maybe again so we can get oh, that's a bit too much there isn't it but getting light onto the subject here with the people walking away and then to show the difference click top one and shift click the bottom one and click the checkbox. So I'm going to go before, that's what I was when I started, and that's afterwards. And you can make this as, as subtle or unsubtle as you like. And with these, by the way, you can always use the opacity up here. So if I think that lightning effect is a little bit on the strong side, I can just turn down the opacity to suit. And similarly with the darkening, that's too dark. I can kind of bring that down a little bit. And uh, sometimes it's a good idea to actually make it a little bit too much and then bring it back afterwards like that. Anyway, there we go. That dodge and burning using layers. Thank you very much for watching.